Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be finally completing the task that I had in mind of decorating the whole town and map in Stardew Valley. I wanted to go through each area and fully customize and redesign the areas to make them look more aesthetically pleasing on the eye, to blend in with my farm, and overall just to spruce things up and make things look a little fresher. We did a video a couple of weeks ago where I started this journey. We did a few areas, the back lanes behind the farm, we did the bus stop area, we did the train station area all the way up to the mount summit, and also the mines area as well in the mountains. Now this video is going to be finishing that off. We've got some big jobs to do. We've got the main town area. This is going to take the longest and it's going to be the hardest to try and design because there's a lot of activity with the NPCs so they could interfere with some of the things that are placed. And then also in today's video we're going to be doing the beach and the south forest area. It's going to be a big one but it's going to look absolutely incredible when it's all done. I will show you time lapses of what I have been doing in each area. I'll kind of snip it them down so it's not too long and just show you briefly of what I've been getting up to and then at the end of the video we'll go into real time and take a look fully at the whole Stardew Valley Pelican Town area and see it all in its glory. But before you see the first area, today's video is kindly sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from the big companies or cyber criminals. Masking your IP address is essential to becoming private online. A VPN makes sure that your city, country and download history aren't linked to your identity. Plus with Surfshark, you can change your virtual location at any given time, meaning you can play early access games one day early and even get access to content libraries and streaming services from other countries like all of the Netflix libraries. If you use my code shown on screen right now, you can get 83% off plus free extra months for free. Surfshark also allows you to use one account on an unlimited number of devices. They also offer the 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out. Just go down to the description guys and click the link below to try it for yourself. Thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring me, but now let's continue on with the video. Okay, so like I said, we are starting in the main town area. We're going to be working up where the community center is, trying to do all of that area and then work down to the main town. Now, I knew that this was going to be a challenge. You know, in my own head, I knew it was going to be tough because there's a lot of activity. All of the NPCs have their own paths. They cut through the town a lot to get to where they need to be. So you've got to be careful of putting things down because I know they're going to get destroyed and, uh, and broke because NPCs walk through objects if they're in their way. So it was kind of testing this out and, you know, understanding the routines and the paths of the NPCs. So it took me a long time just to figure out the safe areas. But before I went into all of that, that was kind of like the last thing to do i wanted to put the foundation in and one thing i had in mind was these nice brown wooden paths i felt like this was going to actually make it look like a town because at the minute it, you know there's a lot of dirt a lot of grass the oversaturated like yellowy dirt and it doesn't really feel like a town i wanted it to feel like a community like a, the heart of pelican town so these floors was really going to to help that and also to you know identify the paths and the places you can actually go so i definitely had that in mind i wanted to make Make lots of benches and little garden areas places to relax and sit and you know make it look pretty as well lots of decorations flowers and things like that sadly I couldn't get it to what I really had in mind just because of things getting broken but I was happy with the end product so I'll time lapse this now jointing with the beach so when we do the big town the beach then you'll see the forest area and like I said I'll snip it down into little parts so you're not seeing every little thing and then yeah I will join you again a little bit later and we'll go and take a look around in real time and I'll show you what I have done it looks incredible I'm super happy with it hopefully you guys enjoy the process too so yeah enjoy the time lapse enjoy some music and uh, see what I got up to guys out here on the street, I'm losing my way. You've got into me, and that's my mistake. Some might say, I can't get too far.
I might wake up at noon, that maybe it's news. Yeah, I'ma just do what I want. I don't need no approval. I'ma just do whatever I feel like. Oh. Going out all night with my friends, spend the whole day just laying in bed. Please don't mess with my mood, don't say what to do, yeah, I'ma just do what I want I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life I'm getting so sick of people trying to tell me what's wrong or right Losing my patience, I don't care about what you think, no. I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life About your opinion, none of your business. What I be doing now? Uh. Why do you even bother making up problems? I don't got time for that, no. Could you please just back away? Leave me alone, get out of my face. Don't care about your opinion, none of your business. What I be doing now? Uh. I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life. I'm getting so sick of people trying to tell me what's wrong or right. I don't care about what you think, no I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life How to live my life, live my life I'll do what I want And there's nothing, nothing you can do about it ask him to get them back. Oh wait, isn't his dad the headmaster at school? Oh my god. I'm the cool kid from the back, yeah. I'm the one calling all the shots, shots, shots. Whether you're ready or not, I'm the two plenty. Drop, drop, drop. Go left, go right, waking up my appetite. No fork, no knife, having dinner with my eyes. So sweet, so nice, have a slice of apple. through the ceiling sure i got dope but don't need it cause all i want is your healing your healing Just use it. 
against them. I don't care. I'm the cool kid from the block. I'm the one calling all the shots, 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 shots. Whether you're ready or not. I'm but two, I'm but two, I'm but two panties. Okay, so here we are guys in the real time. We have made it. I bet a lot of you guys skipped straight to this point just to see the finished result and I don't blame you, you know, but I did try and show off some time lapse just to prove that I was doing it, you know, and also make the video a little bit more entertaining. So hopefully if you did watch the time lapses, you enjoyed the music and things like that. Before we get into some of the new areas that I have been designing in today's video we're going to quickly whiz through just all the other areas that i did in the previous video so we can see it all together and see how it is looking and uh, yeah let's just have a good whiz through here because it's, it's been a while since i've checked this bit out and uh, oh i love it the game just looks so so much better so we are in spring as well and here is the bus stop yep looking good as ever plus it's also good for me to check to make sure nothing's being destroyed from any of the npcs so let's check the mine area and hopefully nothing has been too devastated down this way let's have a look now it's looking it's looking good still I love this area so much. I do think my favourite though is the actual South Forest, you know where the Secret Woods is? So Linus is looking amazing up here, I love it. I'm sure he does as well. Yeah, everyone's coming out. So now this is the thing here, see Demetrius there? For some reason this bear statue 
doesn't get destroyed they walk straight through it so they have a little pause figure it out and then they just start moving faster and it kind of works because i like the looks of it it's, it looks like it's meant to be there from robin's house like she almost sculptured it you know made it out of wood i'm not gonna go right down to the mine area but um here we go guys so this is one that we have done today this is the top part of the town the community center i will take off the uh the UI so we can have a good look at this let's go down the main path we've got some bee houses lots of grass I love this wooden floor up here I actually didn't use this for the town area I was going to but the actual town area below us is stone like a cobblestone path but look at this we've got a little garden area outside of the CC a nice little sitting place we've got the hero trophy because we completed it and we you know on this save file we fully refurbished this community center oh look here we go we've got Robin coming through and she's sticking to the path, which is good. But already, look at this. We've lost some fence panels here, or fence posts, because um, they just seem to walk that way for some strange reason. But the tree is looking good, the center tree. Nice little area outside of the CC. Now, I probably should have put some benches here. I think that would have looked great, but I didn't want to put them in front of the little garden beds there. Let's have a look around. We've got a little community honey production area where, you know, they can come gather, gather some honey, plant some flowers and things. We do have a little back passage here that we can cut through as well. Almost like a little back lane behind the CC. I think it looks kind of good. Very wild. Great place to come for a walk. We've got the kiddies park. Didn't really do much to it. I did put a big Junimo teddy there though. But yeah, park's looking good. Here we go. Look, Haley is in the center of the fountain. I kind of uh, put some... Stone path around this, I think it looks good, with lots of these benches that was already in the game. Now I had a lot of fence panels down here, as you can see, and it's just all being destroyed. All of this stuff here, I had lots of things going there, and it's just been gone because a lot of NPCs walk up here. So yeah, this just needs to be grass, to be honest, which I do have some grass starters, so I'll kind of just fill this out. That's a little bit better. So I kept this kind of wild down here. Going up to the park, a little uh, cobblestone path. If pets was in this game and everybody had dogs, it'd be a great place to take your dogs for a walk. The little park. So that is the kind of top area. Let's go down to the main town. That rhymed. But yeah, as you can see, we've kept the traditional cobblestone path that was originally here in the town. But it only covered some areas. So I kind of wanted to continue that. The only problem is, when you put it on top, it makes this weird, like... It doesn't sit flush like the actual game is which makes sense you know because it's like the map exterior or whatever so yeah you kind of you get this almost like a curb on the side which i kind of like to be honest but let's start down here and we'll go to the right some more little honey here it's a bit of production um kent comes to this little area he has a coffee just ignore that he walks through it but at least he didn't destroy it but yeah he hangs out here nice little place to relax a fence panel just got destroyed i heard it oh no that's never good we'll have to find out what that is but yeah, I know Harvey stands down here as well, so there's nothing... I wanted to put a bench here, a table, but Harvey, like, walks around here quite a lot. Let's go down to the two houses. So look at this stone path. It looks so good around here. This is one of my favourite fishing spots, so I made a little fishing sign there. I did have fences going all the way across here, as you can see, but they're getting destroyed. It is crazy. They are walking through here a lot, it seems. So this is the sewers, which I have actually done, and we'll go and take a look at that later on. But yeah, we've got some crab pots and more of this cobblestone path looking good. I love this area with a big bulletin board. Oh, there's the fences that's got destroyed. We figured out <laughs> where they came from. Sam actually likes to sit by this bush, right? So it's probably him who broke it. It's so frustrating. This was the hardest part here. But look at them. All walking through is looking good. Let's walk up. The mayor has got his statue outside his house because he loves himself so much. We've got the grave area. Nice little sitting area there as well. I love this. The Star Drop Saloon. This kind of just looks like a town. That's literally it. I, I made the stone path go all the way through and it looks like it's meant to be here. It looks really good. Like I said, I couldn't do too much just because it was an absolute nightmare to figure out where I could actually put things. But I love the center of it here. For some reason, this doesn't get destroyed. We've got some benches, a nice little sitting area, like almost like a town square. I'm not sure if they will be there when the, the cutscenes and the festivals happen, but it looks pretty good though. I like the looks of it. So that is kind of all we've got for this area. Like I said, couldn't do much, but it definitely looks fitting and much better than it originally did. By the way, I just want to say, I hate these things here. 
we have these little rocks that you can't place a floor over. I think it's so frustrating and I wish we could. We've got one here. We've got one on the corner here. You can't even walk through them. And I bet there is a mod that removes it and kind of like neatens up the town. We've got one in front of the dog thing there, one behind this trash can. And you kind of just want to put a floor panel there, you know, or some pathing, and you can't do it. Oh, something else got destroyed. You see, this is not good. This is the worst area to design. It's so hard. Uh, there's more of these fences here. So basically, we've just got to get rid of all these fences because they seem to just love walking around there. Oh yeah, and I put a little farm plot area up here as well because you can actually get to the back of it behind Pierre's house. So it's kind of like he makes his own crops or his produce, you know. But let's go over to the blacksmith in Joji area because I have done all of that and it's definitely very, very cozy. Much better than the main town. Not many people go that way, so it's a little easier. But you can go through the back lanes here, kind of like made a little path. I, I do want to fish in the river, so I kind of want to keep that open. Uh, another legendary fish spot up here, the angler. And of course, we do have the cup fruit as well, which we go up to one of our favorite places, the top mountains. Yeah, I remember doing this in the last one. Very cozy. I love it. It definitely feels like you're up in the mountains as well, almost like in the woods. It's so good. Let's go down. Let's take a look at Joja, which is no longer Joja in my save file because I completed the community center. So we have the movie theaters. Lots of grass. We're coming through the back lanes and then here we go. Part of the town, bench, trash cans, I love it. It just looks like a town, looks very busy. We've got the movie theaters here looking amazing. It looks so good. And yeah, we've got some fences, bushes, lots of uh, flowers. And then you can come through, the little cut through. We've got the mine carts here. And then go through to the blacksmith. Gave him a little bench. Got some decoration here. Kept the, the path going all the way through. The ice cream stand, we've got a nice sitting area that's not getting destroyed, which is amazing. And the museum and library looking awesome. I love this uh, skeleton figure and this here that you actually get from doing some of the donations. And I think it looks awesome. Then we do have a cut through which we go to the beach. Which we're going to go right now. This was also a tricky one to do. I didn't really have any idea of how I wanted the beach to look. So this, this took some doing. I did spend a lot of time on the beach just figuring out what to do. So we've got this rustic wooden plank floor which i use for the beach area kind of different to the rest of them each area has their own path so this is a tidal pool i put some hardwood trees around here looking good a little place to to sit campfire didn't do nothing to the pier this is where we obviously catch the crimson legendary fish i should put a sign there as well i forgot about that but yeah kept it as it was you can't really put anything down because of the actual tidal pools itself so you couldn't really do much there so i kept it as natural and wild as it was but yeah look at this people are coming through it's looking amazing they're all going to ginger island oh they're not destroyed why would they walk there why would you walk there the, the path's not central it doesn't make sense but they're not destroying it so i'll take it but they're just kind of <laughs> getting confused maybe i need to move that wow at least they move faster. There we go. Yeah, they have so uh, weird pathing in Stardew Valley. When you actually watch and like, figure them out and learn them, you never realize and notice how crazy <laughs> their pathing is. But here we go. We've got a little beach bar. Almost like a little, yeah, like yeah, I'd say a beach bar. We've got some food, some pina colada, some drinks. Um, someone can come and work here. And uh, maybe Elliot <laughs> as he comes down. Are you going to destroy anything? No, he's sticking right there. Lovely. Yeah, we've got a little camping area, place to sit, looks amazing. Another one of these bear statues, I love it. We've got one up at the top and one at the bottom of the map. I love these little tables. And then we also have a sitting area, so when you can go and buy your food and drink, you can come up here. And uh, yeah, it's looking awesome. Oh yeah, it looks like a Juno is serving them, look at that. But yeah, that's it, I couldn't really do much. Uh, I gave Willie a few little things. He's got some crab pots and worm bins, bait bins to kind of like... Yeah, tied him over with his fishing. I'm not super impressed with the beach, but it's definitely better than it was, and it makes a change to see it like this. Uh, I think it's quite cozy and very, very pretty. Let's move on to the final big part, and this is the South Forest, and this is my favorite of them all. So finally, Leah. She deserves her own little garden space, and look at this. She's got her own place now. That is literally a sculpture that you get given. We've got a chicken statue. She's got some sawmill and workbenches doing all of her little woodwork. She's even got her own little honey production and a tree sap or a tapper for some sap. Look at that. 
the little sitting area looks awesome let's go up yeah this path goes into the town so i've kept this wooden path down here as well i love outside marnie's ranch this actually looks like a farm now especially when you can see the animals coming out we've got the silo i made her a little garden plot here so she can plant some crops we've got some more honey as well i love this centerpiece with the, the tree in the middle Almost like a, you know, a cross, like a junction where you can go left, right, down. The point where you can decide where you want to go next. Oh no, something got destroyed. This was also a very tricky part to, to sort out. As you can see, these fence posts are getting destroyed here because they seem to just cut through wherever they want. And it's very frustrating. Let's see what damage has been done. We'll go around to the travel merchant and work all the way around. More wooden floor, we've got some sitting areas. There is Leah actually. This is where the travel merchant comes and I've kept it nice and oh, I wish it was actually here today because it does look very, very cool. Yeah, decorated the big tree there. And there Leah is. And if you want to go to the secret woods, look at this guys, it makes some music. Now, it's not very good. I don't know how to work them. But you know what? It just makes it a little bit more mysterious and fun when you come up to the secret woods. Which, sadly, I haven't done. Now, I have got some plans for this. I want to do some sitting areas and use these stumps as almost like tables. And you can come for like a picnic in the secret woods. The only problem is you're going to be eating it with the slimes. So yeah, I do have plans for this. Yay, that sounds good. Okay, let's go down towards the wizard's tower. I love this place. This looks very mysterious and look at it. There's a gravestone there. I don't know who's died, but it looks mysterious. We've got some awesome wizard decorations up to the tower. I wish the wizard could leave and have his own little path in and routine, but sadly he stays in his tower all the time. Let's take the path across. So we've got some big open fields with the bushes and foraging. I, I wanted to keep some of the forest area, as you can see. Oh, some fences there. Yeah, I wanted to keep a lot of the trees and the grass and the bushes because we are in the woods, of course, so we can't take too much away from that. Another little picnic area, this one here looks awesome, right by the river. This is one of my favourites. The sun is setting right now as well, how fitting is that? But yeah, got a, a tapper and some honey on this little island. I still want to do all the fishing, I love this little sitting area here as well. It looks so cool. Let's go down into this bit, got a little path. I wanted to keep the spring, spring onions as well because this is a good foraging spot and yeah, you can come here for walks, you're in the woods, you want to keep nature alive. I don't want to take over completely and just have it with, you know, furniture and paths because that's not how it goes. We are in a valley, of course. This is where the sewers is. Very mysterious looking entrance towards it. <laughs> and of course, this is where we can get the mutant cart. You can have a look at the sewers right now. It looks very cool. Lots of mysterious decorations in here. I love this area a lot. Some benches, some things on the little tables. And look at this centerpiece that I did, a skull. Took me a while to figure this out, but in the end, I think I'm happy with it. If you know it's a skull, if you can tell it is, anyway, it looks very, very cool. And yeah, we've got the frog statue, a place where we can fish, and then of course, Krobus. I have put lots of items behind him, and around him and these are his favorite loved gifts so you'll always know what you can gift him diamonds gold bar etc and yeah looks super super cool it is getting dark sadly because i have got some other areas to show you shall i show it in the dark i'm not sure let's see how it looks because we have got a lot of these lampposts and street lights around so hopefully you can see another little sitting area near the river there yeah so this is basically the the woods and the forest and i've kept it very natural where you can go and do a lot of your gathering your wood and your foraging, especially on this little big island here. Look at this. Another little place to sit though. And of course, another legendary spot here, which you want to keep. Now guys, this is my favorite part down here and probably in the whole Stardew Valley town. And I want to go down from here so you can see it. So as you come now, before you just be able to buy hats, but now this cute old little furry animal no longer just sells hats. It's a place where you can come and get green tea. And it's almost like a little side hustle here for the cat. And you can dine here. So look, you come through, you've got a phone, you can make orders. And look, there are some places to sit and you can drink your green tea, buy a new hat. And this is a lovely place to come and relax. Look at the views. I love the tables and chairs. So pretty. The lamps. A little side hustle for the cat. And they've got some hats on display as well. Some of the rare, awesome looking ones that you can buy. Yes, I love that area so much. And look, it's all lit up. It looks perfect. So let's come through. 
Let's follow these paths. I love that the street lights are helping us here. Now I call this the river walk. There is basically a little cobblestone path with the grass coming through right by the river. And you can literally come through and go back up. And look, we've got another camping spot here in the middle of the woods. A little radio there for some music. This looks so cool in the woods here. Look at that. Can I actually take my rings off? So we're just using the actual ambience light. This looks so cool, right? And I can actually see where I've lit up now as well. So we come through the little sidewalk, or the river walk here. It's getting super late, I know, but I think that's about everything. And that is it, guys. Oh yeah, this is a little fishing spot here. Do some fishing into the big pond. What do you guys think? I love the fact that you can do this in Stardew Valley now. This obviously got introduced in the 1.5 update, the latest one that we have, where you can now place furniture around. Oh yeah, this is, we need some lampposts here. This is super dark. I can now actually see where I need to put lights. It seems like the town needs a lot. This is, this is not very good. If you haven't, I think you should give this a go yourself and try it out. It takes time, but it's worth it in the end. It looks so appealing on the eyes. It just looks so beautiful. I'm super proud of it. Now this is my end game save file. It's almost complete. It's in a nice, happy place. Not only does the farm look good and the house, we've now got the old town looking good as well. And look, Jody's looking good as well in bed, waiting for me. Oh, so that is it. I have decorated every area in Stardew Valley. The whole map is completely different. It looks incredible. Do you guys think so? Let me know in the comments your favorite area of mine that I've designed. I think next up, guys, we've got to tackle Ginger Island. I've already made a start on this, but there is a lot of other areas that we can do, and I think we can make it look awesome. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy, and most importantly, stay cozy.